welcome to real civil youtube channel in this video i am going to explain you how we can apply the response spectrum and how we can do the response spectrum analysis also i am going to explain you about the modal combination uh, using srss and cqc so what are the basic rules uh, which one to follow either srss or cqc or absolute okay so before uh, starting I just want to first analyze this structure I have not applied the response spectrum case here so regular dead load live load uh, superimposed dead load and modal cases uh, I have run so before going for response spectrum uh, just go to display show tables here go to structure output and in this uh, go to modal period and frequency and here select the load case modal and click on ok now you you will get the time period and modes okay so uh, i have copy pasted these modes and the time period uh, i will tell you later uh, why it is important okay so now uh, we can start our process i have unlocked the model now for uh, response spectrum analysis the very first step is we have to define the function so go to define function response spectrum here uh, select the code so i am going with is 1893 2016 and i am going to add the function so first step is we have to give the name to the function so i have given irs indian response spectrum or you can give any name select the zone factor automatically the zone value will be there give the importance factor soil type and response reduction factor click on ok click on ok the definition of response spectrum function is complete now we will go to define load cases here we will add the load case that is response spectrum in x direction load case type here you have to select the response spectrum okay now load applied go to add here keep acceleration u1 here you have to select the function that you have defined so we have defined irs okay keep the scale factor as it is okay if the base shear by response spectrum is less than the base shear obtained from equivalent static method then we have to use the scale factor okay i will uh, show you how to use next other parameter modal load case modal modal combination method so here there are different methods cqc srss absolute absolute okay and there are some other two three methods so first is srss that is square root of the sum of squares so this method you can use when modal frequencies are well separated or we can say the difference between the frequency is more than 10 percent or no significant torsion or irregularity so these are some other criteria building is regular in plan and elevation it so basically it assumes the response in different mode is statically independent so this is a good approximation when the modes are far apart in frequency so we have uh, copy pasted the time period so here you can see the for mode 1 mode 2 it is similar then mode 4 mode 5 it is similar okay so the these frequencies are not well separated okay so in that case you can go with cqc method that is complete quadratic combination so you can use this method when modal frequencies are closely spaced that means these frequency ratios are less than 10 percent the difference is less than 10 percent 
so in that case you can uh, go with the cqc and you can go with absolute method when some are uh, less than 10 percent some are more than 10 percent in that case you can go with the absolute option also so here you can you can also check in which case you are getting the result so here i will go with the cqc because the these are coupled okay other things keep it as it is click on okay again we will define the response spectrum in y direction response spectrum case here add make sure it is u2 and the function which we have defined okay click on ok click on ok now just go here uh, we'll go with all uh, cases to run no problem so go with run analysis once the analysis gets completed we have to check the base shear and we have to compare the base shear values okay so go to display go to show tables here go to structure output here base reaction go to select load cases and select eqx eqy rsx and rsy case click on ok click on ok now here you can see the linear static base shear is 1314.7778 for EQY it is same for response spectrum in X direction it is 482.2539 okay so that means our base shear in response spectrum analysis is less than the linear static so in that case uh, we'll match this okay so how can we do this so simple just take the ratio first we will copy this value ok uh, I'll make sure that we will remove the negative sign ok then select the value of base shear in x direction now we will take the ratio so take this value or we can simply divided by this value so we'll copy this we'll copy this value uh, we'll go to first we'll unlock the model now go to define load case response spectrum modify so here we will multiply with the factor which we have obtained okay similarly we will do for the rsy we'll multiply click on okay click on ok 
now again we will run the case so the, you can do this when uh, the base shear of response spectrum is less than equivalent static case so go to display show tables click on ok uh, i think we have taken the ratio wrongly uh, just a minute i will correct this So this divided by this okay so we'll copy I'll paste I'll copy this value so I'll unlock the model uh, then again go to define load case so it was 9.9810 okay okay click on okay now analyze now we can go to display show tables click on okay now here you can see the base shear is uh, matched okay so this is how uh, we can do the response spectrum analysis previously we have taken the ratio wrongly that's why the value was not matching so this is the correct process now you can check the uh, like story forces uh, then shear forces bending moment etc okay thank you uh, i hope you have got some insights from response spectrum analysis please like share subscribe the channel and if you have any doubt you can ask me i will surely reply thank you thank you so much